My name is Matthew Stevenson. I'm the director of data science here at Leo Labs. Like most people in the space sector from a very young age, I've been obsessed with space. And so I went into uh, radio astronomy because I found that really exciting. And so I started looking around for uh, space companies in the, in the Bay Area. And I found this really cool little startup in Menlo Park that was building radars around the world for tracking debris in, in low Earth orbit. So I joined the company as a software engineer and they had me uh, working on the software that actually runs at the radar sites. Uh, but the company's grown quite a bit in the past couple of years. And so as it's grown, I, I was asked to, uh, to help uh, lead and build the data science team. And so that's what I've been doing. So low earth orbit is this amazing resource for humanity. You can put stuff up there, you give it uh, just the right velocity and it'll stay up there for years or decades or longer. And so you can, you can put equipment up there and it can do all sorts of great stuff for the world. You can do earth observation, communications, all this sort of stuff. Um, so it's this fantastic resource for the world. Uh, but the fact that things stay up there for, for a very long time means that it's also really susceptible to pollution. So uh, if, there's, if there's old non-functional satellites still up there or uh, leftover rocket bodies or even pieces of, of debris, uh, they will stay up there forever as well or for a very long time as well. So I, I was really excited to learn about this company, Leo Labs, that is trying to prevent it now by shining a light on it and saying, here's where, uh, here's where the debris is now and here's where it's going to be coming from in the future. And let's, let's prevent the catastrophe. As we go into this, into the modern software age, where we are dealing with cloud infrastructure, scalable infrastructure, agile development, it's, it's incredibly important for, for young people coming into the field to understand those paradigms and know how to work within them. Because that's how aerospace is really gonna start accelerating, is through a lot of these modern uh, software and engineering practices.